Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back in to mattsteinway.com. Here I am with the fabulous Chris Brazel. Hey. Hi. How, how you going? going? Good. good. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. I love coming in to see you. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. Well, we match today. <laughs> <laughs> we match? Yeah, did you know um, blue and orange are one of the two top colours. Remove, orange removes any obstacle in your way to make anything flow in your life. There you go. Of course not. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, on the video that I caught up with you before, I didn't really know you. No. No, I just, um, a person tweet, tweeted, I should um, contact you. Since then we've become quite good friends. I know, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and we've done a bit together. You know, we we've, have, we've, um, we've done quite a bit. Yeah. So, my nose is running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <That's good. laughs> I'm going to tissue. I haven't either. So, do you know why we don't have tissues? Why? This is a really good question. Why? Uh, emotional. Yeah, tissues yeah. are about crying. You look at the number of offices you that, you, that you know the number of offices that you go in, and people have got tissue boxes everywhere. Yeah. So tissues are only when you're crying or you're sick. So it depends. Neither of us need them, do we? No. <laughs> so you've changed my website. I have. You've you've given me a lot of direction there with color, with like anchoring I guess the feeling of, of the website plus a lot of other things you know you, you've done a whole office consult you've done a home consult for me you've done a consult for my wife Shelley's business you've done lots of stuff and and it's been fantastic thank you so can you fill me in with why colors are so important um, well color has an energy and it has an emotion so when I work with colour, I'm giving you the choice of what energy you want to invite into your life or what emotion you want to have or what emotion you want to release. So one of the main things we changed was on your website, which was all white, which yeah. looked great, Yeah, looked really good. Mm -hmm. I was happy with it at first. It wasn't that I was unhappy. I just wanted you to go to another level. Yes. So the top banner, which is the colour we actually changed, that relates to your abundance, what you're famous for, and your relationship corner. So when this was too much white, it was like, I know who I am, but I'm not just getting to you know a deeper level. I want to go to a higher level because everything's mm -hmm. about we can always go much better and higher. And um, can I so, ask you something then? Absolutely. Sorry to jump in. You're right. Just while we're on this. Yeah. So with brandings of companies. Yes. All right. Yeah. And I know you're you're a branding specialist also. Absolutely. So if something's all white, for instance, is it can it be like I get a bit sort of like what's a good thing what's not a good thing you know like what how do you how's it what makes a strong brand or a brand that resonates a white is a good color if you've got a very strong color that goes with it mm -hmm. so with on your website the white was absolutely brilliant and up the top which is the fame abundance relationship corner it it was kind of giving you clarity and, it, and you could have had that and you could have stayed with that mm. but what we did is put a real estate color up there because you're all about real estate yeah so by putting a real estate blue up there and that little bit of touch of red really gave you an identity and plus mm. it's one of your main num color numbers and that's the reason so what I did is brought your energy which is the color red mm. and red's also about focus and confidence and status and a new beginning so a new way to look at things but kept your same font we didn't change the font mm -hmm. but we just changed that blue and that blue just says I'm in real estate I'm focusing on real estate and um, I know what I'm talking about and, and it's very true because since since around that time dealing with you and cha making a few changes I was a bit unsure where I was going mm -hmm. like I had 10 ideas going at once and my clarity wasn't like you say, mm. completely focused, but pretty much since that time, I've chopped off most of, most things and I've just gone in one direction. Yeah, well that's and saying you feel exactly. completely clear. But that's so e that's how easy it can be when you simply work with colours. And the sad thing right at the moment is, as it's been getting heavier sometimes in the real estate areas, and particularly, um, you know, getting the sales in and, and getting the the contracts over the line. Mm. The advertising I'm so sad about seeing is the advertising is coming out in, in with a lot of black behind it. Mm. Um, and the black just says that you, you're feeling weighed down and you're heavy about. This is the perfect time now to put some colour into your advertising and your marketing material. Mm. You know, even the other day I was visiting my mom who follows everything I do, but everything's always put away on her 
on her shelf um, in the kitchen so it's nothing left out but the other day I went in and she had this big box of um, tea, tea bags and it was so unusual to have it. I said, Mum, why have you got that box of tea bags? She said, it's such a happy box, I just want to have it sitting there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the difference of colour. It was a green and a blue box and it, and it was just had this big um, colour thing about it. And she said, it just makes my whole shelf look happy. Mm. So when we're doing our marketing and our advertising, when you're sending it out, if it has a sad feel about it, then people are going to hang on to it because they don't want to feel sad. But if you give them even the slightest little piece of marketing material, your business card, and just do it in a little different way, but add that colour that makes it feel happy, and when you know you, you see a change on an energy on someone's face, you've got a different energy going out. So of course, you're going to get a different energy coming back to you, aren't you? Mm. What about your workstation? Oh, it's like so important. Other, us real estate agents, we sit there in this little workstation thing. Mm -hmm. What would you say would be the premium workstation setup? With colour, with numbers, with whatever. All right. The premium workstation is the screensaver on your computer. Okay. I changed yours. Yeah, you <laughs> changed mine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. So what's the do's and don'ts there? The do's. The do's are have something like, be careful having a lot of family photos there. Um, have something that's going to inspire you, motivate you. Um, each month I actually put out an animal for the month or a theme for the month. I hear it on your message, mate. I know. This, at the moment, is the horse. It is. The energy of the horse is about stopping any stagnation, taking a new direction if you mean to. So every month, we, anyone who works with me, they just get in touch. I say, this is the energy of the month. So. This month by using the symbol of the white horse on your computer screensaver on nice green grass means you've got the feeling of freedom to move and take a direction. Mm -hmm. So every animal has an energy. So if you're needing to be wiser, put the animal. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, one of the most amazing screensavers we've worked with some CEOs and companies is the eagle. So when the eagle's up flying, he can see what the problems are down there. So just mm -hmm. using animals on your screensaver is quite massive the energy when you see it because you're relating that animal to an energy that you want to invite in. So when you select to have the white horse on your screen server, and if you want it, do you want, do you want, do you want it? Yeah, I do. Cool. Anyone else wants it, they can yeah, return yeah. to see mommy. Yeah. Um, but when you make, you, you're making a choice. Yeah. You are deciding, okay, this is my career. This is what I turn on every day. The energy I want is the horse is strong, it's powerful, it's wide, it's clarity. I want to know if I need to take a new direction, I've got the power and ability to do so. So should you change, I mean that's the screensaver, should you change that often, like every month? Screensaver, I would change every month. Every month. Because every single month is a different number and every single month has a different energy. So this month we're in the month of August, which is all about um, collecting, harvesting, being in control, um, timing, coming. We were always going to have this interview this today, mm -hmm. this month. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing on your desk is really get the tissues off. There is no place for tissues on your desk. If you're sick, go home. Otherwise, <laughs> solve the problem. What's causing the tears, right? Um, because when you've got tissues there, and I go into some real estate agents I've gone into lately, they've got two and three boxes around. Yeah, them. Uh, I people do in our office as well. So is that almost like you're you're emotionally waiting for something yeah, to upset you. Yeah, you've decided mm. you're sick or you've got emotions and life just ain't happening. So mm. of course get them off. Always look what you've got on the far left corner. The far left corner when you're sitting is um, your abundance corner. So um, put something there that represents abundance. What's on your far left corner? That big thing that you put there. That, it's got big on it. You know that little <laughs> diary with how good is the that? Notepad with it's working. You put it there. Yeah. Okay, it's <laughs> What have you got? And on your far right corner is your relationship corner. So you're just conscious. This, you know, have a picture of the family there. That's quite nice. There's nothing wrong with that. Can you have goals in the far left corner? Is that goals? Goals? Yeah, no, there's nothing is, is wrong with goals spot? at all. Um, no, that's good. Just don't put them on a black piece of paper with white writing. Okay, so you can have white, white with black. Yeah. 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 Can but I have, I have seen that. That's not unusual. I've Black seen, with white? Yeah, mm. it's ridiculous. Mm. But again, that person was feeling quite bogged down. Um, have your goals. Um, your phone, you know, make sure it's really easy accessible. Clean your phone. Mm. People don't actually clean their phone. No. But clean it. I mean, um, clean my car, let alone my phone. <laughs> Like, it's another story, don't worry. Yeah. Um, clean your phone. Um, another thing around your phone is you can, um, I found this is absolutely amazing, is 
if you get sugar light which is a crystal and kyanite which is a crystal and you sit on top of each other and you put it near the phone nobody can tell you're fit really absolutely you'll be quite amazed i learned it from an accountant okay um but or you don't you always tell the truth as well you mm. speak up and you mm. say so it's a really good one for you um, to say, oh no, that point, that time doesn't suit me. But two crystals. If you don't want to go for sugar light and kyanite, you can go for citrine. Citrine is an amazing crystal um, near your phone, which is um, an energy of manifesting. Mm -hmm. um, maybe some of our agents out there aren't into crystals, but then again, it could be time. Try it. Leave a little. <laughs> um, is it? What about colour on your desk? Should you have any sort yes. of colours around? Yes, absolutely. Should we Try be going to Smiggle and buying colour things? Absolutely. But look at the... Oh, you could get Chris Brazzle's stationery. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Then, you can't go, then you can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, look at your stationery. Look at your folder when you go to a meeting. I would use a red folder to give yourself that more feeling of confidence and that. If you're trying to sort out what you should do, go for a turquoise. Typo have some great ones. Um, just watch some of the brands that are out there. If they've got lines, stripes are really, really good. If you're feeling as if um, things aren't happening and you need to work in a partnership, then go for a stripe on the outside of your folder. Mm -hmm. um, just watch stripes going that way to make you feel as if you've got obstacles in your way. Please don't buy a affirmation book or a diary book that's got a dead tree on the front. Mm -hmm. They're actually out there. Mm -hmm. um, because that's saying there's no growth happening. So have a look at it. Plain colours are always the best. Don't go for cream pages because cream pages still says you're still a little bit uncertain. Go for clear white pages. Mm -hmm. So everyone's starting to buy their diary at the moment. Mm -hmm. They should be really focusing on their diary for next year. Okay. So next year is a massive year of change. So if we can just get through this year, there'll be so much change for next year. But you know, look at the diary. Get away from the cream, get into the white. Get away from the black diaries. We don't need them. Get mm. into some colour so when you're picking up colour every day, you're actually deciding an energy that's coming in. Check your chair height. Mm. This is all right. But some people, when they feel as if things are going wrong, their chair gets lower and lower and lower. Mm. Um, and that just makes you feel like you've got more obstacles anyway. And clean the desk down. Like, over Friday, give it a really good clean down. And, and often people think, oh, I don't have time. But clean it down. Go to the supermarket and get a little spray bottle of orange power and just spray it. It is absolutely magic. It really refreshes. And orange gives you that immediate feeling as if, yeah, things can be done. Cool, we're going to have to wrap this up, but um, if you could give everyone one tip on taking their energy mm -hmm. to another level, mm -hmm. just a tip. One tip? One thing that you think is the best thing to do. Today, get the undies right. Uh-huh. <laughs> get your undies right? Yeah, it's okay. the first, yeah. Change the colour of your undies. On. That's right. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you want to know why? Yeah, why? Tell well, us. The undies is the first item clothing puts on. Nobody makes the choice except you. It's a colour energy you can decide every single day. It's, in, it's the most inexpensive way to create change in your life. Um, and it goes to sacral chakra and sacral chakra is choice. So when you go and choose your undies, I am making a choice today about what I want, where I'm going and how I'm going to do it. So what's the best colour for undies well, before we have to finish? If you really got a hard meeting and a sales, go for some red. If you want a bit of love, go for some green. Um, watch the yellow. The black undies, no place for them whatsoever, except if you've got a hot date maybe sometime. <laughs> then I'm not going to go there. Um, Is white any good? White's okay if you need to close some door, but if you're only wearing white every single day, it's like the white on your site. You're not quite sure where to go and what to do. Mm -hmm. um, life's about variety. So when you open that, do that drawer, undies drawer, that's your life. It's like... What have I got in my life? Beige, 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 brown, 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 black, black, black. Cool, that's not good, is it? So, you know, undies, I wrote colour, these change colour, these change life, but it's the simplest, easiest place to start. It takes you no time to do it. It's the sacral chakra and it's an energy, colour, action step. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Question of the day today, I'm not going to say question of the day. What I'm going to do is leave the forum open to ask Chris questions in, if she's got time. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so look, look, there's a mil I, I ask Chris questions all the time. So um, there are so many questions in this with energy, numbers, colours, all sorts of stuff. Very interesting world. So if you've got a question or two for Chris, put in the comment section on me. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Matt. See you next time. Thank you. See you on the next video.